I wanted to come on here and talk about this story that's not getting that much attention like I feel that it should. And this story right here, it's 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 very telling because we already know how a lot of PC people like to do that passive aggressive thing when it comes to black people. They'll talk in one tone, but they mean something completely different. And we already know what it's talking about. What you're looking at right here, and it's kind of small because I couldn't blow it up any bigger than this, but I'm going to read to you what it says, is an email in response to this black-owned business um, where she got an email from a response from one of her customers. And the reason why she got this email is because there wasn't anything wrong with her order. It was nothing wrong with the product in which she purchased, which, by the way, I'm going to put a link to this woman's um instagram down in the description in, in the comments so you can go and support her and by the way i actually found out after this backlash that this woman's business skyrocketed after the fact so she so this pc karen uh gave this woman some free promo so basically what happened was it like i said it was nothing wrong with the product that she bought it was no malfunction to the point where she needed a refund for that this woman asked this black woman for a refund from her for her product because she found out that the business that she bought from was a black owned business i kid you not that was her reasoning this is what you're going to hear from me when i read this email the email says hello there can you please cancel my order unfortunately i wasn't aware that you're a person of color Mind you, like I said, this is, these are her words, not mine. This is the words of this Karen that purchased this from this black woman. And I just don't like to support small business that do not alien with my v version of support. She's so stupid. She didn't even spell a line right. She spelled alien. She supposed she was supposed to type a line and she typed alien. So because this woman is black. Let's just keep keep it real. And she found out after the fact, she decides that she wants a refund. And people like to say that racism is dead and that is not around anymore, even in 2022. But let's continue before you start and go on a race tyrant. I'm guessing she was supposed to go ty say tirade like see already another grammar in uh infraction right here because she wasn't it wasn't supposed i don't think she was supposed to say tyrant i think she was meant to say tirade please be aware it called my preference i could have sworn it should have been it's called my preference but let's continue i really hope you don't make this a difficult process of oh, before before i go any further she said before you start and go on a race tyrant which i guess she's meant supposed to say tirade she just went on she just made it about race in the very sentence before that, when she says you're a person of color and you wanted a refund because of that. And because it doesn't align with your version of support of business and then going to come back and say, don't make it about race. Y'all man. <laughs> oh, these individuals are something else. So she got grammatical errors and she's contradicting herself, like literally right one cent She literally wrote a whole contradictory sentence after she made the previous statement. I hope I really hope you don't make this a difficult process of me receiving my hard earned money back. <laughs> because we are all aware of how you people like to act, you people. Y'all, this is not a troll email. This is a legit email from some individual who's upset she bought something from a black woman. I mean, I'm almost certain if she went to the person's page that her picture was on the page as the business owner. I'm sure if you look in the bio and you looked it up, there might be a picture. should be a picture of this woman on there because I'm looking at a picture right now. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is... When on the thumbnail, I'm going to have the picture of the business owner on there so you can see what she looks like. I just wanted to highlight this email. Like, like, but see, they love to say they live in a colorblind society. So maybe she, when she looked at the picture, she thought she was a white woman or a white person, period. She says, because we are all okay of how you people like to act. And we know where that comes from when things do not go your way. 
Oh my God, I, I can't, not only can I barely get through this email because of the stuff that they're saying, I can't, I can barely get through this because of all the grammatical errors that this person has in here. I would also suggest you put something that discloses you're a person of color. Why does she have to do that? What does that have to do? What does her being black have to do with her business? And why does she have to disclose to you or anyone that she's black before they purchase anything? See, this is the entitlement of white people. I'm dropping PC for right now. This is the entitlement of white people right here where they feel that they can tell you how to run your business. So you're going to try to tell this woman who has been running a successful business before you became a, a so-called customer. You're going to try to tell her what to put in her um on any links or any description that she's a black woman or the person that you're buying from is black. Really? Because you're in, you're being uncomfortable right now purchasing from black people. Before I even go and finish this article, I'll have y'all to know that when this got out, like I said, this is free promo. Uh, this reminds me of Greg Kelly. Remember how he got so upset with Mattel with the IDB Wells Barbie? And I said, that's free promo for them. And a lot of people are going to buy it now. If they didn't even know it existed, they know now. Well, the same thing with this one, because I went to the page in which someone talked about this story on Instagram. And they said that her stuff or her product ended up selling out. And people went over there and they literally just bought stuff, even if they didn't need it. They just bought it just to support her because of this right here. But let me continue. I expect to receive my refund no later than tomorrow, January 18, 2022. If I don't receive a refund, I will be filing. I'm surprised she spelled that correctly and she forgot to put a comma, though. I will be filing a dispute with my bank and going on social media and letting my large following know you are refusing to give me my money back. Also, happy holiday. Isn't it your people holiday today? She's talking about MLK. <laughs> wow. So she says, if I don't receive the email of receive a refund, I'll be following a speed with my bank and going on social media and letting my large following know you are refusing to give me my money back. Well, here's the thing. I'm sure that this business owner got way ahead of you by putting this email out here of where this is coming from. And she's trying to make it seem like she's going to threaten her business uh, by saying like putting this out here. But here's the thing. Even with your large following, at least the ones who have some sense are going to look at you like you're crazy because of everything that you said in this email from the first sentence to down to the last sentence from the first word down to the last word. And then she said also happy holiday and it's supposed to be happy holidays. And who says happy holiday in reference to MLK? That's usually something reserved for like Christmas. Like no one says happy holidays any other time of the year for any other holiday except December and Christmas. But she said it for MLK. She was, I guess it's her way of trying to be funny. And then she says, isn't it your holiday today? This is why you want to know why America's not moving <laughs> because of people like the one who wrote this email. That's why it's not pushing forward. That's exactly why. And I bet you she's one of them so-called liberal individuals who claim that they've donated to the United Negro College Fund and they support the NAACP and they are a member of Black Lives Matter and they marched in protests for George Floyd and so on and so forth. They have black friends. Hell, they might even have a black spouse with mixed or biracial, however you want to call it, children. You know, all the usual suspects, all the usual uh, uh, things they can say to try to make it seem like they're not worse than what they are. This person is so, well, we already know that they're racist. That's blatantly obvious, but they're also stupid because like I said, this email, this, besides the fact that the racism that is just vomited all over this email, the grammatical error, errors are atrocious. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave, like I said, I'm going to leave the link to the in the business owners page and the way that it actually went viral is because
the business owner had a TikTok um, and they made a TikTok video exposing this email. So if I was that person who was this client, I would, you know, just know that they put their foot in their mouth. My thing is, did you not think that this business owner was not going to post this ratchet, raggedy, racist email for the world to see? They were bold enough to even type this up, even though there's so many errors in here. You would. I don't know who gave this person their diploma or their degree. If they even went to college. Hell, did they even graduate high school? Talking like this. But yeah, man, I'm going to put, like I said, I'll put this link to this person's business down in the description, in the comments below. That way you can go ahead and support. And the name of their business, let me scroll down a little bit so I can actually find it. It's called royalty royalty sewn stop shop i think that's the name of the business Roy royalty sewn stop shop and i like i said i'll link it down in the comments below and you can go and check it out for yourself but this is going to conclude this commentary right here i cannot wait to see what y'all got to say about this down in the comments like share subscribe if you are new definitely hit that subscribe button Make sure you have the bell click so you can be notified every time I upload a new video and I will talk to you in the next one. I had to correct myself. I actually mispronounced the name of her business because I was reading it all as one word. But the name of her business is called Royalties One Stop Shop. And I went on her page and it basically she sells like self-defense uh, devices for basically for women and she also has some apparel as well that pretty much advertises her business but that's basically what her business is but i wanted to come on here and correct myself because i definitely mispronounced it because of the way that it was written and i didn't like um, read it to space out the words but the name of her business is called royalties one stop shop and like i said i will leave the link to her website down pinned in the comments below and you can go and support her business